And yeah. Oh, the boss just pulled in. Who, Jerry? Yep. I'm the f boss, Nate. He ain't. <laughs> Says it's the end of time, and the dark man can't survive. But what is it that can't survive? The industry will survive. It is. 831, we got the first load of uh, Port of East Dock unloaded. Next one will be here at 11. I've got a couple other trucks coming in with their pipes and our miscellaneous parts and pieces. Nate, how many sections is this? 700 plus feet of dock. So it's three different slips. People rent boat slips out from the landowner. Uh, it's gonna be a big, big project. We've got sunshine though, and it's gonna be a nice day. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm nervous. This is my first dock sale over one section of dock, and now I'm selling 700 foot of dock. It's a little nerve wracking. I've been nitpicking the drawings for a long time. I don't think anything's gonna go wrong, but uh, I'm probably more paranoid than I should be. But, I mean, I'm. What's the distance between the fingers? 24 feet. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 24 feet between all fingers. That's to allow just a little bit more to voice. What's up, Docman viewers? That was a critical piece of information right there that you're gonna see comes back to bite us. Ooh, whose idea was it to bring the drill press? That was my idea. Actually, it was Roger's. Oh. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was mine. So, game plan, we're gonna square off of that person's dock over there. So we're gonna start with that one, square it, and then we can square this one. We're actually gonna want that angle away, I think. How they've got it already. We're putting so many sections in, it's got so much pipe. We're just gonna cut pipe to length as we go. Hey Jordan, can you go wash my pole? <laughs> All right, so our current holdup right now is we got two truckloads of dock coming. First truck had sections on it only. They didn't have any bottom plates and they didn't have any quick catches that we need. So all that's gonna be on the second truck. So right now, we're just gonna lay out um, some sections and we're gonna get pole measurements so we can start cutting those and stay busy until, until the second truck gets here with the very key component, the bottom plate. Hey Greg, next time send the bottom plates in the first truck. <laughs> it is cold. Yeah, we're just getting it close right now. We're gonna move over. Don't know what we're doing. Young whippersnappers. So what we're doing here is we're getting the angle adjusted and we're getting it square off of the neighboring dock to the left there. You know, I've learned that two inches over the course of I think this pier is 150 feet will will make it way off at the end. We got 41 feet and five inches. Ah, the second truck. My beloved bottom plates have arrived. Looks like you guys didn't get too far ahead of it. Worked out pretty good. Yeah, never mind, Greg. You can send bottom plates whenever. <laughs> So yeah, 24 foot is what I decided to go with. Mm -hmm. We only need two hoists in between, so we can move it back and forth a little bit. So we can measure this 122 lift. Exactly. And we'll, I mean, it could be 24 and a half. Yep. That as we long as they're not touching, they can be an inch gap, that'd be fine. Yep. And yeah. Oh, boss just pulled in. 
Who, Jerry? Yep. I'm the f boss, Nate. <laughs> he ain't. It's been a morning in the office already. It's 10 o'clock and uh, I was happy to get out of there. I think I've screwed up enough stuff there today. Figured I'd come out in the field and see what I can f up out here. Well, give me an update. Um, Where are we at thus far? We got two more straight ones to go in for this first pier. So, got a few. We got to get that one out first. So. Did you guys, did you guys figure out this angle, or how did we figure out? Yeah, we pulled where it we're off. Going? We pulled it off of that dock. You know, we have multiple fingers going out, yes, right? I, I understand that. So okay. we're pulling off here. I've got the aerial view of it. I can, I can choose the angle from there. We're doing this one. That one's gonna be square with property line. Then we're gonna shoot this one in the middle in between them. As long as you've measured it out. Yeah, I measured it out. She good. Are these poles gonna be long enough for out there? Yeah, they're eight foot right now, so. I almost hit my face on a pole there. Those guys learned uh, how to utilize those floats yes, they did. to their advantage, uh -huh. very much so. Look at them s skate around. They make that look a lot easier than it is. That takes a lot of balance and a lot of core strength. Dockman Island. Yeah. Uh, so far, looking good. Biggest concern is just getting the pole lengths right and make sure we got the right poles for the right depth of water. Gets considerably shallower over here. Yes. Went from what eight or nine foot poles over there to well, yeah, we're going to be at probably twelves to fourteens out here, and we're eights over here. Okay. And eights are probably going to be overkill. You're just pulling the measurement offshore, so yeah. that you know how deep we need to go, and then so he's he can around. yeah, so he can keep cutting. Okay. So we're not waiting on him, and he's not waiting on us. Okay. I like the concept. Looks like we made some good progress here on the two piers, and I believe it's getting pretty close to lunchtime right about now. Yeah, all of them, Tyler. Put extra large bottom plates. We're putting them on all these poles. Are these are these large bottom plates going on this side because it's that much softer over here? Yeah. Once again, more questions. It's going to need them for this pier and for the middle. That far one won't need any. Is there going to be any to spare or we got just what we need? No, we won't have any extras. There's no hardware in here. Tyler, do you see any hardware with the wing nuts to connect the sections? I haven't really looked through anything yet. Cool. I don't think we've got that. What are what are we missing? Hardware to connect the sections. And more questions. Were they quick tack together? Yeah, were they hooked together? The bolt with the wing nut on it. Hmm. Why don't you go get them? It'll give you something to do rather than bug the out of me. I'll do that. Maybe I'll bring you guys lunch too. Okay, I think this will probably be good for me to let them um, work for a little bit without me poking my finger in it. So I'm gonna run out, get the guys lunch, and hopefully that lifts spirits for the afternoon. So I head out to grab lunch for the guys and they start their work on the third pier, I believe. And ironically, things started going smoother and faster after Mr. Questionnaire left. Hmm. Funny how that works, huh? 
Legs already going in. Okay. <laughs> Third leg. Third leg. It's called a pier, Jer. I think that'd be better wording, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Roger's pizza gram. He's so precise with everything he does. Makes me want a piece of pizza. Just finished up lunch. The guys are putting a few more fingers on out there. Things are going pretty smooth. Next up is to put the sunwalk decking on. It's looking good. I'll have you. Garrick, are we gonna put are we gonna put smooth end caps on the ends of these? Yes. Well, that's what we're discussing right now. We're discussing finishing touches. Okay. Why don't you go shop for a new bandana or something? <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> wow, you're kind of a dick. Don't my job site. <laughs> I love when the decking starts going in though. You really get to see progress unfold quickly. Oh yeah. It helped having the skiddy there a lot. And there are the floats again. We utilize those things in about a dozen different ways. Yeah, it's more risky for them. If it drops in the water, they have to pick up off the, off the lake bottom. And that sucks for them. I'm not in the water though. Oh, the famous last words. As soon as you say that, you know how it goes. The lake will summon you in. It never fails. Are you sure that was drilled in the right spot? <laughs> yeah. We are putting quick catches on for the finger piers to go off the first leg. Put them on nice and tight so they never have to be moved. That's how <laughs> we do it. You'll see what I'm saying. Did you, notice I said, did you notice I said first leg there? Oh yes you did. <laughs> Not to be confused with the third leg. Or the second leg. Or the second leg. Let's just stick with saying pier. Yeah. <laughs> how much weight do those things float? That's got to be a few hundred pounds on there. Oh yeah, that's probably 300, 200 pounds. Four small ones will float an entire boat lift. The boat lift is like 900 pounds. Yeah. Inserts are going in. I love it. It's so satisfying to just watch them Sun drop walk, right baby. in. Sunwalk, superior surfaces. There is no other. Two base plates. I'll check with Garrick. Garrick? Jerry. Can I snag two of these base plates for another no. crew? No, go. Get out of here. Are you go. serious? Get them from the shop. I love working with my brother, but between you and I, sometimes this stuff bugs me, and it's been a long day. Sometimes there's just too many people out in the field. He needs to be back at the office. You little thief. <laughs> I was wondering when you're going to see this. You know I had to send two bottom plates back out to them, right? My bad. <laughs> Day two starting today. Picking up where we left off. Hopefully we get things done today. We gotta we got get moving. Uh, we got a late start going. Uh, so I got the finger piers in. Gotta get the boat hoist in. And we'll see how it goes. Should be a good day though. This is the crew working when you or I aren't there. It's kind of like our little eye in the sky. They're doing a good job. Putting some poles in. Looks like they're cutting poles off, getting everything same height. Floating another section out, putting more decking in. Yeah, good job, guys. Oh, shit happened at once. Diagonal braces going on. Hope he doesn't drop that in the water. Do you think Brandon will show us if the guys aren't working on video, or does he just edit it before we get in here? <laughs> I thought he wasn't getting in the water. Yep. Woo. There Whoa. it is. Full circle. The circle of lake life. You say you're not going in, and next thing you're on the bottom of the lake trying to fight for a wrench. I'm not doing this kind of stuff, Brandon. All right, that's it. Rolling in. Let's see what they got going on today. Yeah, some progress being made. Oh yeah, fingers are on. All hands are on deck. This is what I like to see when I pull up on a site. We 
we found the lift we need. Garrick's actually on his way over to the launch right now to drop the barge in. Uh, he asked me, probably because I was bugging him again today, to go find the lift, the first one that needs to go in. And I was able to do that. So he's gonna be bringing her across the lake. Once we can uh, get him up on shore, we'll slide this down to the water, get it on the forks and get the first lift set. the barge out there and we can showcase some of your barge skills. It's fun to watch. Those are heavy, heavy lifter. I love that thing. Flush with that, with that pier, Tyler. Oh, this is where I pulled you off the barge. We were talking to some slip owners and they were wanting different placement of finger piers. Oh yeah, always happens at the end. Oh, it makes my stomach hurt even watching it, <laughs> let alone living it. There's the perpetrator right there. And so what he wants to do now is basically any, anything that doesn't have the uh, hoist in it, to shrink him down to 20 feet spacing. But he's worried that it's just it's too shallow to get boats in. In front oh, of here, so here. we're talking just moving, moving these piers out. Yeah, moving, yeah, moving piers out, basically limiting it to make it all twenty foot spacing. Okay, Every that's not pier, right? no, that's, yeah. the ones without hoist. Yes. Ah, where's that, where's the diagram? Let me see. Okay. He's gonna have holes in his day. Yep, I, I told him that. Okay. I, I just talked to him. He said that he hasn't given any, any dates out for boats okay. yet. Right. So that's um, it. It could be worse. But does it never yeah. fail? Every time the homeowner comes at the fucking fucking hour mm -hmm. and is like, oh no, after everything was perfect. And then, oh, you mean the job's all done? I need you to move everything. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Hey, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I have a little bit of a tendency of micromanaging. Uh huh. But I think overall it went pretty good. Yeah, no, I think it went great. Are you sorry that you threw the water bottle at me at least? I usually don't apologize, but yes, I have. Well, I forgive you. Right. Even though you throw like a girl. <laughs> Well, it never fails at the 11th hour. Um, we end up having to move a bunch of slips. They're all put in in comparison to one another. So even though there was just a couple customers that didn't give the correct specs um, of, of how wide they needed their slip, that means we have to move everything. So we had to cut this one short for filming purposes, but what you are looking at back here is basically gonna be a finished product other than some of the dimensions might change. The guys are cutting poles, finishing her off, so at least they can use it for right now until we're back to finish her off. We'll see you on the next one. Tune in next time to see where the Dockmen are headed next.